Hello and welcome to Cameron's guide on how to jailbreak your iPhone 3G 2.2.1. Now the first step is what you're going to have to do is check that your software version is 2.2.1. Now if you don't have that you can always click check for update or you can restore it to the latest firmware. Now after it's on 2.2.1 what you do is open up QuickPone. I'll place the link to download all of these files in the link description. Now, open QuickPern. Now, when the blue arrow is there, it means that it recognizes that your phone is plugged into the USB. All right, now, in some cases, it won't custom. It will not find this. That's why sometimes you might have to click browse and automatically select it yourself. Now, um, this is to add Cydia, add installer, and you can also replace that cute little apple logo at the beginning with a pineapple. I'm not going to do that because later on you can download an application to which you can change the boot logo to whatever you want. So, yeah. Uh, please ensure and make sure that it's all connected in. Now, this is where it gets interesting, so a lot of people screw up. You will hear the sound of a USB plugging in and out. Five, four, three, two, one. Then, bear in mind I am doing this with both my hands. Hear the USB plug in and out again. Release the power button. And just hold it. and there we go now your iPhone 3G the entire screen will go white and it will carry on making USB plugging in and out noises don't worry this is completely normal also an image will come up on your screen with an arrow going down into a hard drive saying downloading jailbreak data don't worry it's all perfectly normal The method that I am using right now can also be used to jailbreak the iPod Touch first generation and the 2G up to the latest firmware which is 2.2.1. Uh, as you can see, my device has been successfully jailbroken and I'm going to wait to reboot in its newly modified state. At the moment, on my iPod screen, uh, there's a pineapple running, and it's loading some stuff into it. After that's done, it will uh, reboot like normal, and it will come up all like it was before, but it will have the programs Cydia and Installer um, at the very bottom of your home screen. Uh, now I'm going to stop the camera, and I'll show you what my phone looks like. As you can see here, uh, I have Cydia and Installer. Also, just to note, I have my 3G phone unlocked via a Turbo SIM, and yes, it has given me some problems, but I think it's the only way until the dev team actually figure out a way. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, rate five, leave a comment, do whatever the hell you want. Uh, thanks for watching.